So, given the graphics that I put up, uh, you might think this is going to be a critique over the worthless airplane level tests performed by Flat Earthers. Well, no. <laughs> Because it would be a very long video to describe why inertia, gravity, geometry, and even buoyancy uh, will prevent you from getting the results you're seeking uh, with the tools you are using. Calibrating the measuring devices once the aircraft has reached cruising altitude is only showing that the aircraft is doing one thing consistently. However, you don't know what that one thing is without a consistent reference from the ground. Meaning, the aircraft could be at one degree nose down, but you would never know that because you calibrated it as level after it already got there. And if you were seeking some ever-changing behavior of flight attitude, with regards to gravity, it would actually mean that you were either ascending or descending, because the level would only change with the aircraft's relation to the ground and the center of the Earth, not its location on the planet. After all, north, south, east, and west are not down with relation to an object moving along or above the surface of the Earth. They're just not, simply because gravity pulls towards the center of the Earth, not a compass direction. In fact, any of the three airborne tests, two of them are actually showing different results than the third, have only proven the incredible advances in flight technologies to keep the aircraft so stable, many of which directly utilize gravitational acceleration in their processes and calculations. Not to mention, no aircraft flies completely parallel with the Earth's surface, and the plastic tray table is hardly something that one would consider perfectly parallel with the long axis of the plane. Wow, I guess that didn't take as long as I thought it would. <laughs> anyway... That's not what this video is about. If you watch more than two Flat Earth videos, you'll start to hear, Trust your senses! If you don't feel the Earth rotating, it's because it's not. And then, of course, you'll always hear, They want you to tell you your senses are wrong, and blah 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 blah. First, of course you should trust your senses. But, at any given time, given the situation, any of your senses can be fooled. And sometimes, even all of them at the same time. There's even museums and experiences that you could have that defy what your senses are normally accustomed to. Which is why you have so many attached to a brain that's supposed to actually rationalize all the information it's receiving. I guess all I really wanted to say is, first, I do trust that the three aircraft tests were performed on moving aircraft, and one of them's on the ground. Now, there's a reason why I put the ground one on there, and that'll be apparent right now. One of the aircraft tests actually quoted that the Airbus A321 cruising speed is 515 miles per hour, or 829 kilometers an hour. Now I invite you to look at all of these tests right now and you tell me which one your senses are telling you is moving at 515 miles per hour. The answer to that question is you would have no idea. If you woke up on any of these aircraft once they have already reached cruising altitude with the exception of a little bit of pressure on your ears, you wouldn't know that you were flying. If you couldn't look out the window, you couldn't see that you were flying and you would definitely not know that you were moving at 515 miles per hour. So much for the Book of Debay. So much for your senses. The soda and the coffee and the crappy food that you're eating is not flying back to you. The people to your left and your right are not holding on for dear life at this neck break speed. These are things that you are not seeing. Things that you are not feeling. You are not feeling yourself moving. You are not pressed against the back of the seat once the aircraft has reached a consistent speed. You are not accelerating or decelerating. The only thing you would really have is your sense of sight, but if I close the window, you don't have that either. That's what we mean by your senses can be fooled. And even turning aircraft, you would notice very little change, if any. As seen by this example of a water bottle on the control panel of an aircraft while it's making a turn. So ultimately, thank you for making these three tests. Well, actually four tests, and there's actually many more of them out there, but I just didn't feel like filling up my screen with them. Ultimately, these tests are not going to show you a pitch in the aircraft unless the aircraft is sending or descending, and that's it. That's all it would show you. And no, flying around the curvature of the Earth is not descending. Y'all have a nice Oh my god!